you will see that there are 13 mantras that I have listed. How many do you see over there? 13. Exactly. And these 13 mantras are given for the 13 lunar months. Now, in a year, normally there are 12 lunar months. And these 12 lunar months are mapped to the 12 signs. Sometimes we have an extra month called Adhikamasha. Okay. Now, the 12 months that we are talking about, so the first 12 mantras relate to the 12 months and more or less map to the 12 signs. And uh, you will see that in the mantra, you go to the mantra number uh, 11, for example. What does this mantra read? Okay. Fine, yeah, with a little practice you'll get it right. You'll get it right with a little practice. The word Hridroga, did you recognize that word over there? That's exactly, it's talking about heart disease. Now the word Hridroga is one of the names of the sign Aquarius. When you see the names of signs, why it is important for us to learn the names of all the signs and the other names of the planets? Because like this, when we read the Rig Veda and the other books, you will find that there is references which map to something. And if you didn't know the names properly, you would not be able to understand the mapping. So the 11th mantra or the 11th Rik 11 is actually mapping straight into the sign Aquarius. When you read about a paper of mine called the Foundations of Vedic Astrology, there I have gone into Dwadash Aditya, Ekadash Rudra, Brahma, Indra as forming the 33 Devas of Hinduism. That means our entire remedial measures, all our remedial measures that we do, a third of them come straight from the 12 signs, 12 Rashis. Whenever people have troubles in life, you find that they are always straightway to giving mantras or solutions pertaining to planets. Oh, you know, this planet is afflicted, so you give this remedy. And this planet is afflicted, so you don't have a job, so you need to do this. It may not be so. For example, right now the United States economy was supposed to be down. <clears throat> there was a recession. How long will you keep blaming the planets? The problem is with the Rashi. The sign is not able to create wealth. If the sign is not creating, then why blame the planet? The planet can only try more and more. Planets are people. And how much can the people do if overall the whole economy is down? I mean, would you say that the president can just change the economy overnight? So, when you worship planets, you are talking of remedies for people, people-related remedies. When you are talking of Rashis or signs, you are talking of rectifying a whole situation. That is the first bifurcation of remedial measures, the first, the very basic bifurcation. Sometimes the house of wealth, let's say somebody's wealth house is empty. Let's say my Pisces Lagna, second house is Aries, it's completely empty. There are no planets over there. I look at aspects, I look for aspects. There's hardly any aspect coming over there. Maybe a little aspect coming from Mars. And the Lord Mars is in Marana Karaka, it is destroyed. So there's no wealth in the first place. The, wealth, the root of wealth has become weak. So the sign has to be made stronger. So which 
rik do I have to recite? I have to recite the first rik of Surya. If I do the first one, then I can say that my second house, which is Aries, that will become stronger. Good things will come from that sign. So you need sometimes to rectify the sign in addition to rectification of planets. Keep that in mind. So what I have given to you is basically rectification of signs. The mantras for the 12 Adityas. Interesting, isn't it? And you observe <coughs> the sun sign and the moon sign are the most important signs in a chart. If, if somebody's moon sign is Aquarius, should he not be doing this 11th trick about Haridroga so that he doesn't have heart disease? Like that. Depending upon your sun sign and your moon sign, you should be doing moon sign. To worship the moon sign with this rick will give you good health. The sun sign will give you good wealth. So you see, these 13 mantras are extremely important mantras. Basically what we use is the first 12. The 13th only comes into play if we are doing a worship of the Janma Masa, the lunar month in which you are born. The lunar month in which you are born holds a key to your prosperity, to everything that you will get in this life. By doing the particular Rik connected with that month, you will have prosperity, your life will be complete. So, as an exercise, shall I start with Mihal? Could you tell me which lunar month are you born? You could open up your chart and check up the Masa. Please everybody do this with your own charts. Open up your um, softwares and check up the month in, lunar month in which you were born. Yes. I am I'm also simultaneously checking mine, assuming that my uh, aging memory is uh, causing to fail, <laughs> is it not? Huh? Maybe? Okay. Yes? It's under lunar, lunar year and month uh, in Jehora. Mm -hmm. uh, and mine is uh, Vaisakha. Vaisakha. Vaisakha means, do you find the sun in Aries in your chart? That's right. Okay. Normally, Vaisakha month, and is and do you find Adhika written over there? The word Adhika. After Vaisakha is a month, is a word Adhika written over there? No. no. Excellent. Remember, so long as the word Adhika is not written over there, you use one of these 12. The moment you find the word Adhika written, you have to use the 13th irrespective of what name is written. Mm -hmm. yes. Adhika means extra month, the 13th month. Okay? Right. So you have to necessarily do the first Rik of the Rik Veda. At least do this Rik on Sundays. Why? Because on Sundays the sun is observing you. The sun god observes you. What did you do today? What should I do? I am born in Shravana. Shravana is the fourth month. Okay? Now Shravana means the time of the rains. And I find that in my chart, the sun is also in Cancer. It's a perfect match. Shravana, sun in Cancer. Correct. So I have to do the fourth. Can somebody please read the Rick out for me? The fourth one. Uh, I'll read it. Okay. Uh, 
Taranir Vishvadarshato Jyotish Krit Ashi Surya Vishvam Abashi Rochanam. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Good attempt, very good attempt. I, I like these attempts, people must attempt. So, please uh, start reciting your ricks from the coming Sunday. Try and see in what form and manner it changes your life. Surya must be worshipped by all astrologers based on their natal charts. And the Surya whom you need to worship is the one who, whose name, whose Rick falls in your month of birth. Am I clear so far? Any doubts? Go on. What about the moon sign? The moon sign has to be worshipped only when you are thinking you are having bad health. So when I am having bad health and I find my moon is in the sign Aquarius, I have to do the Hridroga or the heart disease mantra from this. That is 150.11. That's how I remember. So like this, there are two ricks that you must remember. One is for the sun sign, one is for the moon sign and maybe for Lagna also. But no, for Lagna there is only one rick and that is the Gayatri Mantra. So long as you do the Gayatri Mantra, your Lagna and the Kendras are going to be nice and strong. Okay, let's go to the next.